Hi there, guys. Today we are going to discuss microcassettes. Microcassettes were used for dictation, but for a day or so, a company called Sony decided to make a stereo version of the microcassette recorder. And we're going to do some tests here just to see how amazing it sounds. Now, normally microcassettes sound just like this because the sound you're hearing now is being played through a microcassette player and recorder. But uh, if you'll uh, give me a second here, I'm going to press stop on this microcassette recorder, which is also made from Sony, but is a little more modern. And we're going to go back to this, uh, I'm going to guess, 1980-something model of Sony microcassette. And we're going to hear what my voice sounds like through a stereo recorded microcassette. Here we go. Ready? Press stop. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now hearing my voice play back through the Sony M1000 stereo microcassette recorder. Yes, it is playing back in stereo, but unfortunately I'm recording this in mono, so you won't get the stereo effect, but you can at least hear the fidelity change between the little Sony that you just saw, which is a M-570V, and it's a more modern recorder, although it has more of an AM radio quality, and this one has kind of an FM radio quality, uh, uh, you know, in comparison to that little guy over there. Now, what I'd like to do is play back some material that I recorded directly off my tablet, and it is from the uh, YouTube music library, where you can download free uh, music, copyright free music for use on your videos. So I'm going to play a song that I got from there, and uh, but before I do that, I'm going to switch back to the little AM radio version over here, and we're going to talk about some of the features of this M1000. You'll also notice some speed variations as this tape plays. That is uh, also a symptom of some kind of an issue with this particular unit, but uh, I'm guessing it was probably made in the 1980s at some point, and uh, it's, it's a little old but uh, we're lucky to see it working still today. Now, I did have to work on this unit. I had to, uh, originally the record switch, which is inside on a circuit board, switches it back from play to record, uh, was a little scratchy and it was actually stuck. And I had to get in there and readjust that. Um, check the belt, the belt was actually okay. Um, and again, the, uh, the clicking sound that you're hearing has uh, to do with a, a little tiny gear that's on the underside of the flywheel and uh, it has a little tooth missing or out of place so it's causing this clicking sound that you hear. So unless I take it to the dentist and get its tooth fixed uh, any live recording I do is going to have that clicking sound on it. So let's go back to uh, the other more modern tape recorder and we'll show you some of the features of this particular machine and then we'll play a music sample. You can tell me what you think. Welcome back to the original tape recorder and uh, let me just go over some of the features of the Sony M1000 microcassette recorder. We have on the front here you'll see a tape counter which you can use to index certain recordings if you'd like. Uh, on the top of the unit, we have a mic input, a stereo mic input, as well as a stereo output for headphones. We have a switch that has a double feature, or, you know, double function. Uh, if you're recording, it will change it from narrow to wide as far as its recording goes. And if you are playing back, it changes the tone from high to low. Now let's go around to the front, and you'll see the controls there. There is the fast forward and rewind. There is a start and, well, basically a, a pause button that starts and stops. A little uh, record and battery indicator. We have record, forward, and stop. And now we're going to go to the back of the unit. On the back here, you'll see the volume control. And down at the bottom there, the speed control for 2.4 centimeters or 1.2 centimeters per second, I guess. 
And then below that is the DC in, and it requires three volts. To the left of that is the battery compartment, and it holds two AA batteries. So that goes, uh, that's about it for the features of the unit. Now I would like to... Uh now we're going to demonstrate the music. was made with the input on the top here, the mic stereo input running directly from my tablet into that. Uh, you'll also notice that it has stereo microphones on the front, which is kind of cool. And I think the other thing I failed to mention was, oh, the eject button. The eject button, hit that there, pops right out. And of course, those of you who know what a stereo tape head looks like, you can see that there are two bands on the stereo tape head. Uh, let's see if it'll focus in there. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay. So the next thing we're going to demonstrate is something that was about to be said on the other machine, is how you can make your own chipmunk recordings. So if you happen to have one of these units and you happen to know how to use the speed control on the side, basically you just record uh, and talk really slow at the slow speed and then switch it back to the regular speed and you'll get a recording just about like this. Hello my friends, thank you for listening to this tape. I have been shrunk down to the size of a tiny mouse and unfortunately I am trapped inside this tape recorder. Could someone please help me? Well anyway, this will conclude this episode of Data Bits. I hope that you will share this video with a friend and that you will subscribe to this channel. It is so awesome. Okay, I'm going to make it awesome. Please share with friends, please subscribe and uh, do all kinds of fun stuff. Leave a comment. Okay, 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 you can turn me off now. Hit the stop button. Hit the stop button. All right, so there you go, guys. That is the uh, conclusion of this uh, demonstration here. And uh, it was a uh, quite a few hours spent getting this old thing working again and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, as our little mouse said on there please subscribe share with a friend and um, let's see leave a comment and click the little like button appreciate it thanks for watching